In this tutorial we're going to look at how to change your IP address so that nobody can track your online activity. For those who are new to the internet, whenever you connect to your internet service provider you're given an IP address which is a small number that uniquely identifies you to the world. This number can then be used if needed to directly link you or your home address to anything that you've done on the internet. To improve internet privacy and security, it's often a good idea to change your IP address so that companies and governments can't spy on what you're doing. To do this, you need to send all of your internet traffic through a computer located elsewhere in the world. After that, all your internet connections will appear to be coming from a remote computer and not from your own computer. There are a few different ways that you can do this, including VPN connections, SSH servers and proxy servers. Some of these services are free and some of them you have to pay for. I personally wouldn't use any of the free services and many of them, as many of them are set up specifically to recall personal information from users that are connected to them. So if you are going to use a free proxy server, make sure that you don't send any personal or sensitive information through. OK, so we'll start out by connecting, by checking our current IP address by going to myip.la. And we can see that our current IP address is 83.44.231.14. Our next thing we need to do is download the IP changing software which is called Easy Hide IP. So we'll go to www.easy-hide-ip.com. Once that's loaded, we just need to click on the Download Now button, download the latest version, install it, and get it running. Once you're running, you'll see a window very much like this, which will display a list of all the IP addresses that you can choose from. So all we need to do is select one from the list, click on the Connect to Selected button, and that will start routing all of our internet traffic through that remote server. Then we just need to go back to our IP checking website, hit the Refresh button, and we can see that our new IP address is 81.94.201.87. Once we're finished browsing with our private IP address, we can change it back to the original IP by clicking on the Restore My Identity button. And that will disconnect from the server and start routing all of our traffic directly to the servers that we're connecting to. To confirm that, we can just reload the page and we can see that our IP address is back to normal. So that's all there is to it. Um, I hope that's been useful and thanks for watching.